is serving on the board really for you? I get contacted literally by thousands upon thousands of executives who aspire to serve in boardrooms and they contact me each and every month. And throughout our conversations, I'm seeing a bit of a disconnect. Um, There's a little bit of rose colour glasses coming into the mix, people thinking that board work is a uh, a glamorous kind of uh, gig, that it's a natural progression from the corporate world to serve on boards. And there's almost like a expectation that because they've had a successful corporate career, that it's just a natural progression that they should be serving on boards. And you really have to think about A, your motivations and B, really get crystal clear on what board work is really like in reality. And if you're afforded the opportunity, I highly recommend that you try and shadow a board director or a board that will allow you to sit in on a couple of board meetings and see how board work really transpires in reality. Because I think if a lot of people did that, they probably wouldn't overly you know, be rushing to secure board roles. Because the reality is the board work is quite boring. And a lot of people who come to me are, are really coming at it from a perspective of what they like, what they don't like, and I don't want to do this, and I don't want to do that. And they're kind of missing the point. This isn't kind of a, um, you know, sort of a choose your own adventure type scenario. This is really serious quite boring, quite specific work that is required to provide the fiduciary responsibility to the company and to guide an organisation through all the risks and the, the business strategy and the like. And of course, with that comes a lot of stress and pressure because you cannot afford to get it wrong. So I really think there's a time and opportunity here for people to kind of take the rose coloured glasses off and really understand the realities of board work. For the most part, it's certainly not glamorous. For a lot of the time, it's quite hard and challenging uh, work. There's a much bigger time commitment than what a lot of people estimate. And you really have to be very committed to go down this pathway. Now, if you have had a really successful C-suite career and you've really enjoyed interacting with the boards and you've had some board experience, well, then you've probably got your confirmation that this is a pathway for you. But for people who are aspiring to join the boardroom, Just really take your time to really think about whether this is genuinely a pathway that you want to pursue because it does require a lot of commitment to build a successful board career. Um, Literally years of your life will be dedicated towards business networking, developing your thought leadership, your profile, your brand in the market, plus actually doing the physical work of, of the board directors. So you really want to be careful that you don't commit to something that in the long term really doesn't satisfy some of your own personal needs and requirements going forward.